Hi, it's Keith with the Rockford How To Series. Today we're gonna to cover various filters throughout your kitchen. How often you change them, the reason for doing so. They may not all be the same, but many manufacturers have similar locations and similar styles, which all basically do the same function. So we'll start here in your dishwasher. So the dishwasher has a filter inside of it in the bottom that catches different debris, generally stuff that's non-organic. Maybe you washed some new plates and you've got stickers on the bottom of them. The stickers will probably end up in this filter, but if it's not clean, then it won't allow the water to cycle properly. So we're gonna reach inside of here, and I'm gonna show you how to do this filter. We're gonna just turn it to where the arrows don't line up and pull it out. It's got a screen here, and then it's got a catch in the top. We're gonna to wash that off maybe with a nail brush or an old toothbrush. Get those nice and clean inside and out and then make sure that there's no debris in the top end here. Once this thing's cleaned, we'll just return it to its previous spot so that it can continue to do its job in your dishwasher. We're gonna turn it until it locks back in, and then we're gonna return the dishwasher tray to its previous location. And that's all there is to the dishwasher. The microwave's got a filter underneath here that does get dirty pretty often. It filters the air going in and through your microwave. All of them essentially pull out the same. There's a little tab on the bottom or there's a finger hole on the bottom that allows you to pull this filter down and then out. You can put some degreaser on this, run it under the sink and scrub it. You can actually put this in your dishwasher and just allow it to wash on a hot water cycle with the rest of your heavy pans. That'll keep this thing's life a lot longer as well. Then you won't have to buy replacements as often. So then we just return it back to where it belongs. We'll slide that back in and that's all there is to that one. There's a couple different manufacturers of refrigerators and a couple orientations. Most manufacturers are going to have their filters in one of three locations. Sometimes they're in the toe kick down on the bottom of your refrigerator. Some of them have them between the two drawers and sometimes they're up in the top of the refrigerator either on the right or the left. In this case it's on the right hand side and then the filter is actually up inside of the refrigerator. This particular model you take and twist that about a halfway and then you pull it back out and it'll release. When it releases, you're gonna get a splash of water because it's gonna have water pressure in the filter. You're gonna take the new filter and you're gonna put it in either up here in the center or down at the bottom. And then you're gonna go ahead and put your covers back in place. Once you change a new filter out though, you wanna have a large bowl or a pitcher ready because you're gonna run out about a gallon of water to start and it's gonna have air in the line. So it's gonna spit and sputter a little bit. Allow that air to get out until you get a steady stream without many air bubbles. Then you're gonna dump that pitcher. Most manufacturers say that you should run that water out for several gallons. Some of them even say up to 10 minutes to running that water until they say that the filter is recharged and ready to go. Just follow your manufacturer specifications on the particular filter that you have for the manufacturer that you have. But all the filters change and operate and clean out about the same way.